Welcome to Linux Hints YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about calloc function in C programming language. Calloc is yet another commonly used function in the stdlib.h library. It stands for contiguous allocation. As the name says, this function is used to allocate memory while using the heap instead of the stack. This kind of memory allocation is known as the dynamic memory allocation. What we are going to do today is that we are going to observe the syntax of this calloc function and observe the working of the calloc function. Then we are going to take an example and demonstrate the working of the calloc function in C programming language. First things first, the syntax of the calloc function. The syntax of the calloc function is currently being displayed to you on your screen. Type cast represents the type of the pointer to be returned while the num represents the number of contiguous memory blocks that you want to reserve whereas size refers to the type of data that will be assigned to your dynamically allocated memory. Now when we are talking about the calloc function we should also compare it with the malloc function. The working of the calloc function is very much similar to the malloc function. However, the main difference lies in the ways in which the allocation of the memory takes place in both of these functions. Whenever you allocate memory with the help of the malloc function, it does not initialize the allocated memory by default. It means that if you will try to access the allocated memory before initialization, then you will get garbage values in return. On the other hand, the function in the spotlight today, the calloc function initializes the allocated memory locations with zeros. Therefore, even if you try to access those memory locations before actually initializing those memory allocations, you will get zeros instead of garbage values. As a general rule, if you need your allocated memory locations to be initialized with zeros for any special reason, then it is very much better to use the calloc function rather than using the malloc function. Ok, let's demonstrate the working of the calloc function by writing some C code. Open up a directory and inside that directory open up a new terminal. And by using this terminal create a new file and for this tutorial we're going to name it calloc.c. Just open up the file and write some code. So what we are doing in this code is that we are actually prompting the user to tell us the amount of elements that he wants to use. We are saving that input inside the variable n. Other than the variable n we have also created a pointer variable. Now we want to assign some memory blocks to it dynamically and for that purpose we are using the calloc function. Since we are not sure how much memory space the user will ask so that is why we are passing the n which is the number of elements the user would input to the first argument of the calloc function. This should give us dynamically allocated memory blocks. After that we are just checking if the memory allocation was successful or not successful. We can check this by actually looking inside the value returned in the pointer variable. If the pointer variable has a value null this means that no memory allocation was made. But if it is not null we can actually prompt the user that the memory allocation was successful. After that we are actually asking the user to put in some values in the memory that we just allocated. Once the array is populated we are actually printing out the values of the memory blocks. When we are working with dynamic memory allocation, it is one of the best practice to free the memory blocks that we have dynamically allocated at the very end of the program. We do this so that we always have some memory blocks remaining to give to other applications as well. So in this line we are using the free function which resides inside the stdlib.h header file and after that we are closing the program by the command return 0. Now all we have to do now is to compile this program using the gcc compiler and execute it. I forgot to place this escape sequence inside the quotation marks. Now that I've fixed it, this program should easily compile. Now that we have compiled our program, we just need to execute it by using the dot slash followed by the name of the file, which in our case is calloc. So how many elements do I want? Let's say three. There you go. You can see that there is some value inside the pointer variable. That is why it is saying that the memory was successfully allocated. Now let's try to populate the array with some integer values. And there you go, our population is actually working. Which means that the calloc function did actually assign some memory blocks dynamically. 
That is it for this short tutorial on how Calloc works. You can learn more interesting stuff about Linux operating system and different system calls in C programming language by clicking the link in the description box and heading over to the Linux Agents website. With that being said, that is it for this video. Thank you.